this 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 white lady. And then he and he stopped and I guess he got a channel. He said, by the way, she won't even know that you even have knowledge whatsoever. Because that realm that you deal on, she won't even even be able to even challenge. She can only deal on the realm that what knowledge that she had. Even though this woman here was an advanced person that was this head witch. And I was like, well, I, I don't need to be messing around with her and stuff. I said, and that's the reason why they caught you up in some stuff recently and stuff. Because they, you know, uh, because they vampires. You see, and they can get your stuff. But the key is also, too, um, the key is also, too, um, a lot of them, I have met some of them, and they have no, and they're psychics, but they have no, they have no thing that, they have no way of knowing that I have any knowledge whatsoever. Although they can see your light and stuff, and they can say, oh, you, you know, you, your aura is real strong enough, but they can't. They don't know because they're not on that particular realm. They're, they're not on that particular realm. So the best way to kill him is basically, the best way to kill him is basically you are uh, based on your understanding. So even this, and I've come to find out now, even with the books, it's one thing to read the books, and it's one time, one thing to just, if you just take, for instance, if you just take some time to yourself. A lot of times we take things time to ourselves. We have relax and rela relaxation. We don't be thinking about nothing knowledgeable. Take time to yourself and just sit down and think on knowledgeable things, something that's knowledge on how you're going to get out of this and what are the things that you've all, the stuff that you have learned by now, and therefore you will get the actual channels, or you will get the actual understanding. There's only one problem with getting a certain understanding, because we don't have confidence in ourselves. When the stuff come to us, we just say, oh, that's just some shit. I'm just thinking of some shit. It should be so correct, be so true, and you know it's true, but you be like, Ah, uh, that's just me thinking. I'm making this up. That ain't you thinking. That's actually a channel, and you thinking it's something else because we don't have confidence in ourselves. And I'm guilty of that myself. You see, I'm guilty of that myself because there's always a constant thing you have to work at because we've been trained this particular way. So these are things that we are also talking about that you have to, uh, that you that you actually uh, um, have to do, that you actually have to do to uh, get to a certain level. Now, in the Kabbalah. It also says that, in short, the chosen people, the chosen people are the light of the world, which is us. And the light, which at the present is mixed with darkness, the Gentile, the children of Eshu, uh, uh, es, Esua, hmm? Eshu, uh, 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 that ain't got nothing to do with no Eshu, that's uh, Eshu. This darkness will vanish little by little. First Israel will look forth as the dawn. Next, she will become fair as the moon. Then, as clear as the sun. And lastly, as terrible as an army with banners. Such is the, re the, the, the reformulation of uh, Yahweh, Ahava, uh, Jehovah. Then it is accomplished. Not a Gentile will be left, will be left to pollute the earth. For Israel will become the messianic shin and unite the tongue of God and the utterance of, of, the, of, of his name until the entire universe will vanish into absolute light. So that means that the universe is a holographic universe. You see what I'm saying? And this is the meaning of, illum of illumination of the Kabbalah. So they're talking about Israel having light, but it is mixed with darkness, so it is mixed. And in the, in the whole, in, in A.E. Waits Kabbalah, they said that they talk about these particular ones that are, um, they, 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 they call them, um, what did they call these particular ones? Uh, they call them uh, intruders. And they say these are intruders that followed Israel in their exodus from, in their, in their exodus from bondage, which means in actuality they're talking about us and stuff, where the certain people going to a certain level and you know, all uh, that they're following, or either they're talking about people that's here now that have not been sorted out, that, 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 that have not been, been, been sorted out and you know, all. Uh, uh, now, it's interesting because a dollar broth in actuality, they say, is weak and is dying but he is being helped by a group of secret society like the Illuminati. They do rituals and things to keep him afloat. Or they keep him afloat by keeping this thing prominent when it comes to uh, a Christian religion and all this particular stuff. And you notice, you, 
Everything on cable is all these religious shows. And they got about 10,000 black people preaching. They got sisters preaching. They even got a singing preacher. They got some black man. Just, he, he got an hour-long show. He just sang the whole time. He sang his damn gospel. He sang his thing out. <laughs> and, uh, and they just keep this thing afloat the whole time. Uh, they keep this thing afloat the whole time. And they can do this and also. They, so in actuality, he is actually weak. But the key is the only people have to know the light is us. And less than this room, but basically us, who so happens to be serious about what they into. And basically being serious about you into, it doesn't necessarily have to be a 24-hour endeavor. It's just got to be a part of your daily life where you're constantly thinking about it when you're just doing what you're doing. Because thoughts are things, and that's the key that we're talking about here, is, is uh, a, a, a constantly th a, a, a doing it while you are doing what you're doing, because that's the main key. And so we talk about a, 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 some, kind of for, some kind of balance that we're talking about here, uh, some kind of balance that we're talking about. And so that's what the deal is. Uh, um, another book is uh, a little small book you can get, you can buy, is the Gnostic, Go the Gnostic Gospels by Elaine Peggles. She was one of the, the, the ones that first translated the scriptures from Cop Coptic in 19... 1977 also, too. She also got one called Adam, Eve, and the Serpent. Another book is called Jung and the Lost Gospels, Inside of the Dead Sea Scrolls and the Nag Hammadi Library. The Nag Hammadi Library is the one that they found in 1945. The Dead Sea Scrolls is the one they found in 1947. You see, 1947. Uh, uh, that, that, also, uh, that also deals with, uh, that also has a whole chapter on a dollar bar called Princes of the World. Myth of the Tyrant Angels, uh, Princes of the World, Myth of the Tyrant Angels, and this particular person, his name is Stephen A. H O -E H O E L L E R. What's that? Holier, Holer, uh, H O E L L E R. And and they talk about the myth of the ty uh, of the uh, of the Tyrant Angels, which is also a dollar broth and stuff. But remember now, when you're reading the Jesus up in here, this is not the Jesus of of 2,000 years ago, this Jesus now is you in the physical body that's getting ready to be redeemed. It has nothing to do with a historical Jesus whatsoever that did not exist. Or if he did exist, he was a false person saying that I am the Christ and you need to follow me. As the, as the, the scriptures also said also too, in so many words, that there was a false Messiah that came. But the false Messiah that everybody is waiting on came 2,000 years ago. Basically what the Gnostics, and this is the reason why they had to kill these people off. Now here you're supposed to be a so-called spiritual people, and supposed to be the light of the world, and you're supposed to be Christian, and supposed to be the, be the way. But seem to me, your whole history from the start of taking somebody's work from them, and killing them off, so, they did, so it wouldn't be revealed that you plagiarized their work and changed it around to, to fit your political enslavement of people, all the way through the Crusades up until now, all Christianity has done on this earth is kill people. Kill people, kill people. You see what I'm saying? Under the banner of the divine destiny and bringing Christ to the rest of the doggone world and the whole nine yards. Bringing people a book that they had they already had a million years before the cracker even came with a lie, of, you know, uh, uh, with a lie. You know. So what we're going to do is, is right now we're going to go into a question and answer period to get some other juices flowing and all so we can um, disseminate some of this particular information here also too. Because remember now, your questions are not questions, they are answers. There are answers that's actually asking for insight or asking for clarity of answers in the first dog one place. So it don't have nothing, so there's no such thing. So that's why the question and answers are actually important because they're not questions. They're answers that need to be clarified. What's that? And then you, she raise your hand. What's that? Okay. A sister went to a, a Vodun ritual 